Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Attack Block. Today, we're going to be doing kind of a random video to be honest. As most of you probably already know, we recently got this new monitor from BenQ. This is the EX3501R, link in the description if you want to go learn more about it or you can press any card on the top right hand corner there to watch my like unboxing video of the monitor. But uh, it's an awesome monitor, thank you BenQ for actually sending me this monitor. Uh, I'm loving it so far. My first ever high refresh rate monitor, my first ever ultra wide monitor and my first ever curved monitor, so a lot of firsts here. Absolutely loving the monitor so far, I've played quite a few games of like CSGO Deathmatch on it and uh, it's been a lot of fun, loving the high refresh rate of course. But there is a problem and that problem happens to be my PC. Um, I've only got a GTX 970 in there and a i7 4770 CPU and uh, those specs kind of struggle to run games at 3440 by 1440 at you know 100 FPS. So uh, CSGO is pretty much like the only game, and maybe Fortnite, that I can play at that resolution, uh, at that frame rate. So uh, yeah, luckily we are upgrading the parts of the PC this month. I'm gonna try get some good deals on Black Friday, save some money, and buy all the parts a little bit cheaper. That PC build's coming soon. But today we're gonna be doing some cool stuff with monitors. Now we have this ultra wide here, but it kind of looks lonely, and you may have seen it on like my Instagram that I've kind of had like a triple monitor set up. And yeah, that's right. We're going back to the triple monitor setup. Uh, even though this is an awesome monitor, uh, I do still prefer having three monitors in total, just because like productivity and you can, you know, have more things open on more monitors. So I have two ASUS monitors here. These are the ASUS VN 24-7HA monitors. They're 60 hertz panels, 1080p, one millisecond response time, and they are they're VA panels, which is which is good. So um, I'm happy about the fact that they're VA panels. They're 24 inches uh, compared to this being a 35 inch ultra wide, but there's not too big of a difference, I guess, in the actual monitor size here. There's only like this little bit of a gap up top here, which I don't really mind at the moment, but I think in the future it would be best for me to upgrade to 27 inch monitors just so this gap isn't there, but that's not too big of a problem. I don't really mind that gap too much. And some of you in the comment section have even told me that you like that little gap there, I guess, in between the monitors, but uh, enough of me talking, uh, let's get to the actual cool part of the video. So we have this monitor here. Now, what I also have is this Best Tech like single monitor arm that Best Tech sent me like a month ago when I made the video about like the 4K BenQ monitor. But yeah, this arm I feel like could be useful in this setup. Now we're not gonna be using it as an ultra wide monitor holder, not this time. Uh, we're actually gonna be using the arm as intended, I guess. So we're gonna be slapping on one of these monitors. I only have one of these arms, and if everything goes to plan with this single monitor arm today, I'm definitely gonna be buying a second one to hold up the other display. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not getting a monitor arm for the main monitor up here. Uh, I don't think I really need one, plus it does not support VESA mounting out of the box. You have to buy an adapter that I don't think is available anymore. So uh, there's almost no way I can wall mount this monitor unless I somehow manage to get my hands on this like external adapter that you need to mount onto the back of the monitor to make it VESA compatible, as it's not VESA compatible out of the box for some strange reason. I'm gonna take off the monitor stand from the ASUS one as I'm getting rid of the stand for one of these monitors, and instead of using a monitor stand, we'll be using the Best Tech monitor arm instead, as I think that'll look much cleaner. Now at the moment, you can probably see that there's a different VESA mount on this monitor. Now I'm gonna take this one off as this is for a different monitor arm, and attach this one on instead, as this is for the best tech monitor arm, and this is for a different monitor arm entirely. There we go, the new vase mount is on. Right, so the monitor arm is here. We have the ASUS monitor right here. Let's pop it onto the monitor arm. Okay, so the tilt, needs to be adjusted. There we go, the tilt should be fine now. The monitor arm can be lifted up, lifted down. Uh, seems to be holding it without any problem really. I'm gonna probably tighten it up a little bit though. Seems to be holding the monitor without any problem for the most part. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tighten up the arm a little bit as it is slowly making its way down, which isn't good. Okay, okay. okay. You can move it down, move it up. Oh, that's better. All right, so let's put the monitor on. Uh, that's, that's almost perfect. There is a bit of a gap here though, so we have to kind of adjust it a little bit. 
I think it would be best if I move the whole arm uh, more towards like the center here. Ooh, yeah, that's looking better. There's almost no gap here. It's like perfectly upright, almost perfectly upright, almost. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that the monitor arm is slowly going down. So we do need to tighten it down a little bit more. The windows bar there is looking almost perfect. I think if we raise it up just a little bit. Yeah, there we are. But that looks good enough, I think. All right, so what do you guys think? I think the one on the left here looks significantly cleaner. You know, there's no monitor stand. It just looks so much nicer than, than this guy with a monitor stand. What is going on? So uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, you can't even see the monitor arm holding up the left monitor here at all, thanks to the soundbar and the fact that the ultra wide monitor is gigantic and it pretty much hides everything behind it. So that's a good thing. And I think all that's left to do now is to pick up another Best Tech single monitor arm and use it for this monitor here. So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of days. I'll probably order another Best Tech monitor arm that's the first one they sent me for free, but this one I doubt they'll send me another one for free. And we'll have, you know, some floating monitors up in here once again. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the monitor arm to be honest. Uh, it's looking pretty nice there, you know, we have the tension adjustments and stuff, the tilt. It's very, very sturdy and it even has like USB and audio pass-throughs. Not too sure if you can even see them. They're below there. Oh uh, yeah, we have uh, some horrible cable management down here. Still planning on, uh, you know, redoing all of this soon. Uh, bear with me on that as I'm waiting for some stuff to arrive. Definitely gonna have to sort out all these cables out pretty soon as you know things are becoming uh, a little bit messy, right? Uh, I got a comment earlier saying like, what's what's going on with them cables underneath your desk and what is happening? I'm currently like reconstructing the entire setup and also we have a lot of packages that are kind of piling up in my room and you can see me there in the reflection uh, but we have a desk, we have two PC cases, uh, the desk frame, there's a there's another monitor there, there's another monitor inside of that cupboard there. This is becoming chaotic to be honest. Uh, I need a bigger room or like a warehouse or something to you know, store all this stuff in. But today I actually had like a pretty crazy idea. I thought about like maybe moving this monitor there. I kind of looked at the radiator here and um, you know I think that we could make this work. Like you know just take that monitor, put it here and we could have this one kind of you know just extend out here. And uh, the reason I want to do that I guess is so that I can put the PC kind of like, you know, down here, I guess, on like a separate table almost. But I'm not too sure if I should actually do that. As thinking about it now, uh, you know, we have table legs everywhere, right? And if we move this desk there, we're gonna probably have to move the IKEA Alex drawer there as well. Else we're gonna have a lot of table legs all in one spot, which uh, is not gonna look good. I feel like the best choice here would probably be to just buy an entirely new desk that's slightly bigger, perhaps like the car will be worked up that Ram and Frank P has in this setup. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of torn on like what to do. Help, but the setup, I gotta say, is looking good. At least I like it. I don't know if you guys like the setup, but uh, I'm, I'm loving this so far. Loving the ultra wide monitor and the fact that we have these two outer ones, even though that one is currently still on a monitor arm, which we're gonna fix that. Uh, yeah, it's all looking good. The soundbar like fits perfectly in into this entire setup here. It's an RGB soundbar because you know tech block, but it doesn't have RGB dude. We have an RGB keyboard, RGB mouse, mouse pads. Our monitor is even RGB now thanks to an LED strip mounted behind it. And is that LED strip still peeling off? Uh, no, it appears to still, well, it's peeling off just a little bit there. Let's stick it back on. I'm gonna need some better adhesive there for that LED strip from Poo Geek. But anyway, I think I'm gonna be ending the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little setup video. More setup videos coming soon, as always, as we continue to evolve and, you know, improve the setup over the next few months or years. Uh, yeah. Apart from that, everyone, thank you all for watching. As always, I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.